Well, Carmelo ain't exactly the family guy, so <laughs> Yo. he ain't going. He ain't going to do that. Yo. Is Carmelo like? <laughs> he's like he's he's been. No, he had he had like a secret kid outside of his marriage and like ignored the kid, and then I don't know. You know the um, uh, one of his illegitimate kids was a WNBA player, <laughs> Cheryl Ford. Really? And like uh, they found out that they were father and son late in life, and. When she was playing in the WNBA, he was like showing up at games and like putting on and trying to make up for being like a, like a, just like a deadbeat dad. And how did that go? Uh, I mean, I, I hope their relationship is good, but there's okay. other like stories okay. about Carl Malone just being a shitty dad and like a that. shitty husband. Trev, I can't rock Trev, with that. Travis Trev is anti shitty dad. I'm anti shitty dad. I'm no, anti shitty so husband. I. You got, I, you got to take a stand, man. I can't, like, my friends. Even if like if, if I had a friend that was a shitty dad, I don't think I could still be friends with that friend. Like luckily all my friends that are dads are great dads. I actually had a great friend question for you today. Oh, go ahead. Um, because we're both big fans of the Joe Budden podcast. Yes, Huge indeed. Fans. Shout out to the Joe Budden podcast. It's probably the reason why I do the things that I do. Facts. Um But Rory is in a in a pickle right now. This okay. is definitely off the last dance, but I was just listening today and I thought about this because I think about these things. Uh-huh. But Rory's in a little pickle. Okay. Which his buddy Chris Styles still has not put ooh, it to rest. Ooh, we're doing this. He has not put to, he has not put it to rest yet. By the way, he I think he went on live yesterday. No, he didn't. Yeah, he 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 claimed that he had receipts and he was going on live. Um, I didn't tune in because <laughs> adult. So Rory and Chris Styles are best friends. They are yeah. fraternity brothers. They are two people who have shared a career together, countless of memories. Um, and Rory has been on record prior to this saying that this is my best. Friend. Yep. Right? Mm-hmm. Not talking about that though. Your best friend's getting married. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm Chris Styles for Kicks and Giggles. You're Rory. You're getting married. Am I inviting you to the wedding? My question, my question is is layered. Oh, go ahead. Uh, and like we're boys. Yep. Let's say for this particular story, Chris Styles is gonna be the best man. All right. Ooh. Let's let's filter it down. Uh-huh. So now my because he was at the he was at the he's at everything. Of course. My best are you my best man? Are you in my wedding party? Or are you invited to my wedding? Niggas know when their friends are scumbags. You do. You know. I just I just want to put you that know. out there. If you're close enough to, if you say you're close to a guy, close to a friend, you know when your friend is a scumbag. Uh, we've had this conversation before. You know that friend that when you guys go out to the club, they're just a little bit more aggressive with women than they should be. Can I, can I go on record saying that I actually would only want to hear like maybe, it's probably like, Three people in this world, I will be comfortable hearing them speak game to a girl. Yeah. Everybody else, I don't want to hear what you have to say because y'all niggas is crazy. Wild. What? Wild. You feel me? Like, like I'm like, wh- oh, that's how you get. Like, when you hear how your how your dogs are giving it up, you're like, oh nah. It's it's like what? And then they be like, yo, put me on. And I'm like, put you on. Do you hear <laughs> how you speak to women? Yeah, I know my friend is a scumbag. But I also know oh, we could, we, should, we could do a deep dive on this, but we're not gonna do a deep dive on this. I just want to know if he's gonna be in your wedding party. No, wow, can't. I hit the, I hit my group chat with my fellows today, and they said um, it depends on a couple of different things, but ultimately your wife has the end the end all be all. Because I know my wife's not okay with that. No woman should be okay with that. Yeah, and man. if my wife's not okay with that, her maid of honor's not okay with that. Yeah, and if yeah. there's, there's some, not gonna be around, there's somebody that's in that wedding party that's not okay with that. There's somebody in the audience. There's that's tough though. My there's my future wife's sister or cousin or mom. There is a woman in that audience that has been in a situation with a man that's been way too aggressive with them. I hear and, you. And seeing him up there is going to be triggering. And the reason he's up there is because of you. So you need to make that choice and just say, fuck it. Like it's not a thing that's happening. That takes the attention off of your wedding. I agreed. All agreed. But for me, during this entire thing, my biggest emphasis and focus has been watching and analyzing the value of friendship and relationships right like yeah. just the val- just the value of it and it's like okay cool so same situation you're my best friend like you were there for my engagement you were there when i met shorty you mm-hmm. were also there when like i had rough times and good times and glorious times like yes it's my day yes it is my moment but like like honestly if i didn't have like my best friend on my side like i wouldn't have 
I don't know how I would have gotten through the things I would have went through. Not to say I would have gone through them, but I don't know how I would have done it without my best friend. So now it's my day to celebrate because marriage is it's a combination of all different things. I'm celebrating the love, the matrimony, but also I'm celebrating you, the guests, the people who've been here, seen us to this point. So now does he for that he he doesn't he didn't get that right at all. After you do what you do and it comes out, you don't get that right. You don't get you don't you don't get to experience more. Okay. You've experienced what you've experienced, and like I said, it's bigger than it's bigger than the race, the the scenario that you painted for me is bigger than the relationship between them. It's way it's bigger than their history. I'm like you said, like if I know I got a boy that's a scumbag like that talks to women crazy, I'm not putting him on with with a with a not friend that I have. On. Not, I'm putting not putting you on. Not even putting you on. I'm not putting you in the same room. I'm not, not inviting you, you to the same event. And honestly, like all the friends that I've had in the past that I knew were scumbags or talked to chicks crazy. I don't even know them niggas anymore. Right, right. To be to be a hundred percent clear with you, just like I said about the bad dad thing. Like, if my friends were my close friends were bad dads, I don't know if I could be friends with them. Yeah, no, that's out. I'm sad for the kid. For who? Trevor, I am sad for Chris Styles. You're wildin'. I am sad for him that he allowed the way he moves with women to mess up everything good in his life. Can I be sad for that? But that's how it ha- that but that's how it goes though. How you treat people is how you like it. I can be sad. I don't know if, I'm I sad that it happened to him. I'm not s- sad that he did any of the things that he did. I'm sad that like, you know what? Another young African American male who was making his way in in this in society didn't have what it t- took to be a better dude, to restrain himself, to be a, to be an adult, to be have I am respect not saying any of those for the women around, around him. But that's the thing. Like I, for me, I think it's two sides of the fence, right? It's like you can feel bad that the situation happened, but it's like I'm gonna feel I'm gonna feel worse for the chicks that he invited over to his place. Didn't give him pussy. No, I feel bad. And for he that. called them all for the sure. names under all the names under the sun. Kicked them out the house. Didn't like provide them with a way to get home. The chicks that when he was at Duce Palooza just <laughs> pulled up their shirt to flash their titties without them giving permission. The chicks that got drunk yeah, that he was fucking around, smack. I'm not. I don't feel sorry for this nigga at all. You want to know why? I don't because feel if, sorry that's, for him, if that's if that's if that's my if my shorty says she wants to go to Duce Palooza and runs into this nigga and I hear this, I'm running down on this nigga. So no, I don't feel bad at all. I am with you. I'm with you. I just feel. I'm not sad. Is, is it? I'm not sad like poor Chris. I'm just sad like damn like look at that opportunity and, and squandered. And, and yeah. Squandered. That's what I'm sad about. I'm 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 sad at the opportunity that was given and placed in front of him to better his life and his family's life and to live a life where like yo fam like I could wake up at eleven o'clock today and not have to worry about work till six o'clock, which is a party tonight, by the way. But what did I tell you? I, when that, this whole thing happened, I said I hope he saved his money. I hope he saved his money. That's it. That's all you can hope. That's all you can hope. Because ultimately, of course, like he did all these bad things, but we're not going to sit here and like wish the worst things in the world to happen to him or wish ill will on him. Like the only thing you're going to wish is that he gets better, yeah. that he gets the help sure. that he needs. For sure. Because niggas walking around with that mentality need help. No, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I don't know. I, was, I don't even know how I got on that, but I was thinking about that today. And I was like, it's cool. Extra. It's cool to address it. It's good content. I think, I think, I think it's I, I think it's big. That's um, going to be a great YouTube video. Ha, 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 ha.